Hello, welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. We just put a new motor controller in this little speeder for Hank here. Wasn't a repair, it was an upgrade. Yeah, an upgrade. One from what, a 20 amp, 25 amp? 25 amp. Upgraded to a 50. I thought I handled the grades at Brick Mountain now. Now what's interesting is that little 25 did handle the grades at Eagle Point. Well, yeah, Eagle Point ain't bad. It's not that steep. Yeah, it's not very steep. No. Plus I wasn't hauling a passenger car of eight people. Right. Me and Lil. Yep. We didn't have the doggy car yet. Yeah. So let's take a look at the controls you've got on this. Okay. Show people the the controls here. So this is a pull it back for uh, going throttling up for throttling up. This forward and reverse here and. Uh, Lights, of course, lights, horn, horn, beep, beep. main power, of course. This is for charging without yeah. having to take out the batteries. Oh, that's that's handy. And main power, and this is a, an additional meter that you don't need, but when you're doing diagnostics, it'll tell you uh, what you're drawing in current, how much voltage. It'll accumulate watt hours for you, as well as give you the instantaneous power use, which is 34 watts sitting here because the controller zeroes out but not quite plus well the lights are on turn them off the power goes down to 11 4 watts 0 0.7 so the controller is pretty centered right now mm -hmm. and 0 3 30 milliamps so yeah the incandescent lights draw they draw quite a bit quite a bit <laughs> so the uh the that throttle handle there that's that's hooked to, up to a 5K pot. A special 5K yep. pot um, that is uh, only 180 degrees of swing, but it's physically only swinging 90 degrees, so we're only getting half range. Mm -hmm. So we had to do a little workaround with the controller to be able to utilize a variance from 5 volts to 2.5 volts versus... Five to zero. Basically, it's in wigwag mode, but we're only using half of it. Yeah, we're manually throwing. Yeah. We're manually throwing an internal dip switch with the forward reverse switch to put it in the other half of the wigwag, mm -hmm. or to reverse the wigwag. Yeah. Well, that's it. Looks to be running good. Yep. With a new controller. Take it to Pioneer tomorrow. And uh, a much steeper track in June. Mm. Secret location. So the firmware that's blasted into this microcontroller has different parameters, obviously. Yep. Because it'll allow it to draw more current. Where the other one will shut down in a certain setting. So that's probably different too, but it's the same hardware, just bigger in effect. Ooh, we're on a cliff! It's scary! Still 7 amps. Oh, you're not up to the 3.5% grade yet. No, that's only a 3% grade. Uh, Where it starts. Yeah, <laughs> and that's as steep as it gets. Plenty steep enough.
Well, we could load it down. Well, there you go. Looks like it's working good. Yeah, it's working fine. I hate going backwards. Oh. Well, it wants to go forward because I'm trying to, it's holding on the hill. Uh, yep. <laughs> Who wants to go backwards? Yeah, I'll do it. If you don't mind if I tow the firewood behind. Oh no, tow it all. Yeah, we'll do with that. I have my good couplers on. Don't you have a right. I got it. Yeah. yeah. More remote control. I wonder if I could wire one in parallel with that so I could do it either way. Uh, it's different dip switch settings. Uh, plus, there's no, it doesn't have any weight. So right. It'll slip. I'm trying to pull. Stuff. Well. No, no good? No bueno. There you go. Well, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to hold on to it. Those are pretty high. Yeah, well, this, this this car is a special, special case. <laughs> it doesn't play well with anybody. But, oh well. You try it, it might stay. Yep. You guys gonna get out of the way long enough for me to do this? Start moving, they'll get out of the way. Excuse me, chickens. A lot of that doesn't fall away. Looking good.
Why don't I back the truck up without that in it? And that way we can get the blue car out without having to worry about that being in the way. Well, thanks for watching this short video. If you did like it, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, if we earned it, uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to support the channel in a more substantial way, you can always go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. That's patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. And thank you for watching and have yourself a great day.